All right, let's get into it here, my math party people. Let's go ahead and crush this one. The biggest mistake that people make on this one is not remembering, although you might remember the formula, distance equals rate times time, you might forget that the units need to be consistent. So let's go ahead and tackle this one, my party people. So about how far to the nearest mile did Karen drive? So we're looking for a distance here. How far? So that's pretty straightforward there. But what isn't so straightforward is when you discover that you're looking for a distance, you have time, you have rate, and automatically you might be thinking, hey, distance equals rate times time, and I'm done. Yes and no. Because remember, we have to be consistent with the formula. So what that means is when you check this out and you're saying, hey, I'm going to find the distance and we're going 49 miles per hour, you need to make sure that your distance is going to be in miles and your time is in hours. That's really it. That's as simple as I can make it. Making sure the units are consistent just means making sure that the distances are the same, the times are the same. Here we have minutes, that's hours, that's the problem we're going to tackle, and we're good to go. So before I continue, make sure that we write this formula out and we check out our early Easter sale. Make sure to check out the link in the description of this video to get up to 67% off my full program, live classes, and everything else that you need to raise your score and get the job you want. So here, distance equals our rate being 49 miles per hour. The time is not going to be 45. We need to convert. Let's go ahead and zoom in over here. We need to convert this 45 minutes into hours. That's what we need to do. And to do that, we'll divide by 60. Remember, every group of 60 minutes is one hour. So we'll divide by 60 to see how many hours we can make. And so that'll be 45 divided by 60. And we can actually go ahead and simplify here. We don't have to do you know, long division. You absolutely can. But another way to go for it is to go ahead and just simplify the fraction, making it three quarters. The way that I got that was because you can divide 45 and 60 both by 15. And once you do that, 45 divided by 15, that's three. 60 divided by 15 is four. And there we go. So we'll just bring that right back. That's it. So 49 miles per hour multiplied by three quarters of an hour. Boom, now we're consistent, now we're good, and now we can solve this nice and smoothly. So distance equals 49 times three over four. 49 times three, that should be 147. And then from there, we should have ourselves over four. So then four into 147, we'll go ahead and do some long division there. Right here, zoom on in, four goes into one, it doesn't. Four goes into 14, that's three times. We have two left, bring that seven down. Four goes into 27, that'll end up being what? That'll end up being six. And so we subtract 24, giving us three left over. And if we want to, we can continue, or we can see if our answer is gonna be somewhat near there. Notice that we have 36. The answer here, 37, that means that we're gonna to have to round up. I don't see a 36 down here anywhere, so I don't have to do any more work, I'm good. Remember that we want to save as much time as possible. So if this was a test question, there it is. Booyah. And we're done. So like I said, my math party people, don't forget, we have our Easter sale going on now. Make sure to like this video, comment for more, and let's ace the ASVAB. I'll see you soon.